You've probably heard the phrase think positive more times than you can count. But what's the real deal with positive thinking? Is it a magical cure-all or just another pop psychology fad? Let's separate fact from fiction. Positive thinking isn't just wishful thinking, it's backed by science. Research shows that a positive outlook can boost your immune system, improve cardiovascular health, and even increase your lifespan. It's all about the mind-body connection. When you think positively, your brain releases dopamine and serotonin, neurotransmitters that make you feel good and reduce stress. Ever heard of the placebo effect? It's a fascinating phenomenon where a patient experiences real improvements from a treatment with no therapeutic effect, simply because they believe it will work. This is the power of positive thinking in action. Positive thinking can also create a self-fulfilling prophecy. When you expect good things to happen, you're more likely to take actions that lead to positive outcomes. On the flip side, negative thinking can trap you in a cycle of inaction and missed opportunities. Now, let's talk about the limitations. Positive thinking isn't a substitute for medical treatment or a balanced life. It won't make your problems disappear or turn you into a superhero. Over-reliance on positive thinking can even be harmful, leading to denial and avoidance of real issues. Beware of toxic positivity, the excessive and ineffective overgeneralization of a happy, optimistic state. It dismisses genuine emotions and can make people feel invalidated. Life isn't always sunshine and rainbows, and that's okay. It's essential to confront and deal with negative emotions, not just paint over them with a coat of positivity. So, what's the middle ground? It's what psychologists call balanced optimism. It means being hopeful and realistic at the same time. You acknowledge the challenges but focus on solutions. You don't ignore the negatives, you reframe them in a way that empowers you to take action. Practical Tips Affirmations – Use positive affirmations to rewire your brain. Visualization – Picture your goals and the steps to achieve them. Mindfulness – Practice mindfulness to stay rooted in the present moment. In conclusion, positive thinking has its merits and its limitations. It's a tool, not a magic wand. Used wisely, it can improve your mental and physical well-being, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. The key is to apply positive thinking in a balanced, realistic manner. So go ahead, think positive, but also think smart.